Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire, and we are in the Spaced Out DLC. This game got released literally like two, three days ago. I started, play started playing it on the stream, and I think it is time that we came through and played a brand new series. This will be a series just for early access, and let me give you some context why we are playing here. Bam, I have been playing Oxygen Not Included for a very, very long time. In fact, since the original game was in early access, just to let you know, we can't pick any other worlds in early access um, DLC here. Uh, just we got to wait for the full release. So I'm just going to hit start game. The game settings here, very normal. If you want my seed, there it is. All right, cool. I've been playing this game for a very long time and I have been described as sloppy, messy, yet entertaining. So I will just give you a little bit of a heads up there. If you're here for a how-to, I mean, I will show you how to, don't get me wrong, but it might not be the most efficient way of going about it. In fact, it really won't be the most efficient way of going around them. That's not what I'm about. I'm mostly about just having fun exploring out, trying to do things differently. You know, all, all these big players are sort of like, yeah, we're going to do this in the most efficient way possible. And I'm just, ah, yeah, great. Yeah, centralized, whatever sounds amazing. But maybe, but maybe we can have a bit more of a distribu distributed, yeah, get those words out there, distributed colony this time. That's my plan anyway. I'm going to go through and just spend a few seconds trying to get the, the best, um, best duplicates we can here. I want a builder and a digger. I want to have someone who's just a researcher and I want to have a farmer rancher. Oh, that took a lot of clicking. The end of last season, I asked people if they wanted to come and be involved, wanted to be a duplicate, and only one person thought that they could handle it. So this is random random is here. We're going to the LV426. If you don't get that reference, maybe the Ripley and Hicks reference will let you know who that is. Let's just get going, or at least where that is, what, what this is uh, pertaining to. We have started a brand new world. Now, the first thing I've got to show you, I'm going to assume you guys are familiar with the original game. Let me just press Alt-S and zoom right right out here. Oh, unfortunately, we can't see it. But the map, the map is very much smaller. The map is so much smaller. You can see that we've got some granite over here. We're not able to dig out of that. But we look, we've got new creatures. We've got new creatures. What are these plug slugs over here? We've got some swamp chard. What have we got? Marshmallow and bog bucket. Oh, there's a whole, much, whole bunch of new stuff, let alone the material. Sedimentary rock we've seen before, but polluted dirt? What is polluted dirt? Cob uh, cobalt ore also sounds like something that we have not heard before. Okay, so as always, the first thing we need to do is just start digging. Uh, we cannot do anything until um, our duplicates have materials, and to get materials, we need to dig. The next thing I'm going to do is, of course, get some water. My first aim for the first day is to get myself a toilets and water systems sorted out. I think we're going to do this over here. It just looks like a good place to put it. Why does this look melted? Because it's polluted ice. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I also want to try and collect up the plug slugs, or at least try and keep them in a single area. Why aren't these guys doing anything? And I'm going to go through and just slowly but surely surely come around and start working on things. Um, this is going to be a relatively slow intro here. Uh, by relatively slow, I don't mean the way that I speak. Oh no, I mean the, the, what we're going to get done. I've got I've got a list of objectives per day. First day, obviously, get ourselves some toilets down. Second day, maybe some food. I think the food will be a good idea. Of course, we need to get research on the go, else we are not going to be able to uh, get any new technology. And I'm sure you can understand that new technology is important. What is this? Fossil? We've got fossil, right? the beginning so fossil is used for making steel uh, i'm normally all about that uh, you know, i don't know 10 episodes in or something but maybe maybe we can get going look at this dirt block here really causing us some troubles i think another thing that i'm going to do is drop a ladder into here so that we can get all those blocks out of there uh now i'm not i'm sure you guys are aware that a lot of times you can have your duplicates causing all sorts of troubles by uh, by having a little pee in the water. So I, I'm going to put some side walls up here to stop that happening. Also looking that I'm going to maybe put another pitcher pump down, or we're going to let the water flow. No, we're going to put another pitcher pump down just like that. Okay, and then we'll start figuring out. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we're going to carry on going over this way. I kind of want to go up, because I don't know if you can see this polluted water here. I don't want it to flow down. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up and over and come back down. Let's get this ladder. Let's go, uh, not there. Let's go down there uh, and then dig through this way I think as soon as the duplicates are ready to go over this way they will do so we should probably also set some priorities so I can set the priorities of the, the, the individual um, the individual tasks the builds the the, the, the the routines that I need these guys to do but we can come up to the priorities and set the individuals for the peoples now Hicks my man he is a builder and a digger so we're gonna make sure he has the priorities there but he's also because of these skills an attacker he likes to go and kill things it's kind of fits with the 
the name Hicks, right? Random, randomer, you are my researcher. I mean, we're gonna have to get you on that. And of course, Ripley, all about the farming and the ranching. She likes cats, right? That's that's the important thing there. Now that I'm digging this way, I'm like, do we put the toilet over here? I think we might just put the toilet over here. Let's let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna have, um, oh, I don't know, one, two, three outhouses, and we will have ourselves, if we come to the medicine, two wash basins in front. Now, really, we should be doing three. But I think we're just going to leave it at the two. I think we're just going to leave it at the two. Well, if we need a third, then we will go ahead and build some. I also would like some room for a composter down the end here because it's time. It is time that we started making some power and some research. We'll get, we're, we're just going to have to wait for people to get through this first. Of course, this is a little bit of a problem here. Let's speed up our time and get, get going into the future much faster. Let's then also take a moment to go, look, there's all these pre-made buildings around here. This is something that's very different. Ooh, look, it's a teleport transmitter. We'll talk about that in a little bit. No more than three minutes, I'm sure. Uh, but you can see there's a whole bunch of... Ooh, anti-entropy thermo nullifier. We've got a cooling system here. That is uh, beautiful. A whole bunch of pre-made buildings around the outside that we can take advantage of. I've never seen these guys go up the... Look at them. Look at them. Look at the wheel legs. Oh, that is so cool. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they give us a bit more of a, a better start in the world like this. We can see, uh, we can see there's a bunch of materials and... Uh, and machines to go and get working with and we will definitely get through that at the moment we can get through granite if i was to go take this and go hey can we dig through that you can see that we are lacking the hard digging skill so i'm going to come up to the skill floor here the skill uh, screen that's the word i'm looking for and you can see that hard digging is the first one we still don't have any skill points though and the only way we can get these guys to have skill points is to make them do the jobs that they need to do uh, and and so we're gonna make them do that we can't go up there that's fossil uh we're gonna make them do the jobs anyway well, anyway, toilet achieved. That, that's my day one objective done. I am so hype about that. Do we want to move this downwards? I think we do. Let's go, let's go down here and go see what's going on down below. Uh, the first thing I know is we've got a bog bucket there, marshmallows around. I believe marshmallows are just eating. No, decor. Uh, so these are decor, cre uh, are decor plants. These are eating plants. Uh, and the, so is the bog bucket. I believe the bog bucket is uh, one that you can farm, whereas the swamp chard is like the... Was it Muckroot from the original game where you just dug it up and you went, oh, look, that, that we can eat that, we can eat that. Today's actually gone really well so far. I was a little bit surprised at that. I was kind of expecting to have much more of an issue getting everything up and running. But you can see that we have some issues straight away. One of the first ones is we've got no food. A second one is that we've got no oxygen being generated. But the oxygen is relatively easy to generate. If you have a look, we've got all these, uh, these, these gas bubbles coming up here. And we can see that we're adding to the polluted oxygen. Now, if we can clean up that polluted oxygen, we can have ourselves a fresh... Uh, oxygen source, yes, indeed, a fresh oxygen source. Also looks like we're going to be digging through here pretty quickly. I wonder if we can go to the underside, do this, uh, and then let's put some ladders down to make it happen. And that way we could then dig out this under bit here and maybe get this straw touching the, uh, the water properly. Uh, what I really want to do is just take that one out, but we need to wait. In fact, no, let's not wait. Let's use the priority skills here. If I press uh, seven, I think seven's a good priority number there. We'll do that and we'll do these. And I think that should be cool. Okay. Hopefully now this means that this little bucket gets built first and we can just expand this out a bit to get some better water. And as soon as this gets cleared out, we're going to rip it all down. And this is like, uh, I don't know, is this our up down way? I don't know. It depends whether there's a geyser around anywhere. One thing that seems to happen almost every time that we play this game is we start putting down an, an up down route, you know, a major thoroughfare. We need to get our duplicates up and down the different levels uh and look he, he went and did it anyway like hicks seriously uh let's come through to the no not the skills the priorities uh, and i want to turn the digging down and the building up that way that oh that's why he couldn't because he couldn't get down like this all right fair enough hicks i will uh, allow this because you were you know a little bit uh, unable to reach the the places you wanted to go i'm going to carry on bringing this ladder down actually i think i think i can see another flat area that we're about to make uh let's do this let's come over here go. okay cool that that looks good i'm looking at these guys down here i'm looking at those guys down there now i'm not sure if you're aware but these guys overnight have a sleep um if i press f2 do we see that no we don't when they're asleep overnight and i will try and show uh, try and remember to show you during tonight's night cycle uh they produce power yeah power you know the thing that you normally have to get a duplicate running around on a treadmill for uh, these guys are just like yeah let me do this for you and i'm like well, okay please do that Ooh, press escape uh, so what i'm going to do is try and put a doorway right here now there are we should 
Last time I tried to do this on a test world, I uh, I, I let one of them out. Uh, that was a little bit disappointing. But we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'll put this here like this. And then I just kind of want to fill these in. Now, I need to try and do this in a better priority. Like that one there and these ones here. And then another one. Okay, cool. That should work out for us. Oh, man. We're going to have to let these guys do some building, though. Okay, so we got a cool slush geyser over here. It is producing polluted water at minus 10 degrees. We have an anti-entropy thermal nullifier. I'm wondering whether we can hook this cool slush geyser that makes polluted water, as we said, up to a cleaning mechanism and then push that through a electrolyzer, pump that over the anti-entropy thermal nullifier and have fresh, clean, cool oxygen all the time. That would be great. Hey, how are you guys doing? Oh, we got uh, Sweetles. These Sweetles are pretty cool, actually. If we feed them, what is it we feed them? If we feed them sulfur, I'm not sure where the sulfur comes from, if I'm to be honest with you. We get sugar. Sucrose. You know, it's, it's sugar. It's the stuff you and me put in our teas, coffees, or whatever it is we like to sweeten. Oh, oh we've got some problems. What, what, what's the, I, don't, I don't see any problems. You got problems? You want to tell me what your problems are? Okay, the big problem is going to be how do we get these guys to stay in there? Okay, with, with everybody working, this might work out. Ah, look, he's going he's gonna to still be there. What is this? No, 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 stay inside, stay inside. Okay, one of them stayed, stayed inside. We will accept that. I, th I think that's a winner. Uh, so, to make use of these, I'm going to just put down a whole bunch of wire here. Something like that. Okay, that, that'll work out. And I want it going outside of the door. That's the big thing. We need it to go outside the door. Now, is this the only cobalt we've got access to? I think it might be. So we're going to have to wait and see uh, how bad that is. I'm just waiting to see whether that guy goes out the door or not. Okay, so power. We're going to go for a battery. We want one of those there. That is beautiful. So we should end up with a bit of a, a system that we can use. I want to go onto the construction errands, if that's okay. Uh, as great as it is uh, setting all my errands up to nine. That's not why I one. I, I generally don't mind putting construction errands up to nine. Hey, Hicks has stopped working. We need to find something else for him to do. I generally don't mind putting my construction errands up to nine uh, because as soon as they're like finished, the, the, the priority nine disappears. But all the other things, I like to keep at quite a, uh, a low priority. Okay, I'm also going to dig out this area under here uh, so that we can start getting a bit of a research station underway because that is my day two uh, objective. Oh, I, me I messed it up. I messed it up. Let's try and set everything up again. Okay, so I've set up the power line. I've set up the battery. I've set up a research station. And now all we need is wait is for everybody to respond to the really high priorities that I've put down. And we'll just see what happens with that. Oh, do we do it already? Do we do it already? I think Come on. Everybody come here and fix these wires now! <laughs> they haven't got a bed so they don't need to sleep, right? Unless, of course, they just fall asleep where they're stood. All right, fair enough. But that gives me an opportunity to go, hey, look, 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 we've got power flowing out of these guys. These guys are actually coming out and doing this. I'm not sure why this is 300, but these are only 60. Uh, I'm assuming it is, in fact, a feeding situation. Uh, and that is what we're going to be spending the first of our power on, is that we want to try and get ourselves uh, researching first the farm, because we're running out of calories and we're running out of calories fast. But secondly, I think we want to uh, be able to get these guys up and running, uh, get the ranching, the, the grooming station underway, get the food going, uh, and also oxygen cleaning. I think that's probably important. Another thing I'm going to do whilst we are early on in the game is start my first storage area. We're just going to have four little storages over there. As soon as they get built, I will just ask everybody to start cleaning everything up. I, I, there's only a few things that I don't want going in there. Critter eggs is one of them. Food items is another. There really is not many, but we'll make sure that uh, some of them stay out. Things like oxalite. I don't want oxalite going in there either. Because oxalite um, sublimes out to oxygen. So if we do manage to uh, dig any up, we definitely don't want it going into there. Though, honestly... Try not to dig it up. Uh, I believe when you dig stuff up with your little guns here, your dudes uh, waste, in big inverted commas, waste half of the materials they were digging. Uh, so, right, we've got ourselves the first research station up. And as always, the first research we need to do, look, it's, it's, it's almost like it knows, right in the middle, basic farming. It's really for the planter box and the composter. Now, normally the composter, one of the most useless items in the game, but I'm not sure if you're aware, there's a lot of polluted dirt around, not a great deal of real dirt. So we need to try and turn as much of that polluted dirt into real dirt as fast as possible. And to do that, it takes the research station. I just hope that we've got enough of dirt around to get this one, uh, th this, this bit of research turned over. Oh, we dug a hole. Oh, no, 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 no. We haven't dug a hole. There's some oxalite that's wasting away. Okay, let's uh, let's try that. I mean, I'm, I was literally just talking about how I don't want to dig it up. I'm going to cover it up. Okay, so that dig went well. They took out the oxalite and put it back almost immediately. We lost a little bit of water down here, but it's not enough to really worry about. We are worried about the fact that we are not getting much water back. Though. I'm going to hit all, as I said. Now I want to turn the consumable ore off, the critter egg off, and the seeds off. That's because the critter egg and the seed will rot in there, and the consumable ore will sublime, which actually means... 
over time we will lose all of them if we put them into these areas. So there, there we go. I, I just I just turned those off. Another thing I want to do to start getting some early bonuses down is to connect this up like this. If we can get this little area built, let's go with a seven, and that should hopefully turn over pretty well. People are just delivering stuff over to the research station at the moment. That's fine. That's almost exactly what we want to happen. But once we get this enclosed, we'll have what's known as a room, and our room is an uh, is an area of the map that is enclosed. Let's have a look. That there's enclosed by wall, but normally you've got like maximum size. Most of them are the maximum size of 64. I believe the Great Hall is like 120, something like that. So once you've enclosed the area, uh, the game does a little check, make sure it's small enough, and then you get the room. And if you've got the right stuff inside the room, again, as dictated by this, so for instance, the latrine has toilets, wash stations, no industrial machinery, and is the right size. And you can see we've turned that instantly into a latrine. Uh, we get bonuses. Uh, I believe it's morale bonuses? Yeah, morale bonus for that. You get a plus one every time they use the toilet. Which, given how much of a horrendous area this is, with all the, like, nasty oxygen and not great stuff, I think that's probably a good idea. Anyway, let's have a look at the blueprints here, because we need a bishop. Or the game might totally freeze up. What, what's going on here? Just, I've chosen that blueprint! Go! That's my game crashed. Oh man, it proper crashed. Ah, oh, the joys of early access, hey? Well, we got a few things that we need to correct here, and look, we can correct the water spillage before it actually happened properly. We're losing a little bit down here, but it's nice and easy to sort out. We're gonna get the uh, the research done, but of course, I was also doing storage bins and room. Oh, I think I've figured out why they are not producing enough uh, power. They were overcrowding. Literally taking one tile out was enough. That's crazy. I, I didn't think that would be a thing there. Okay, that, that's cool. That's cool. Let's uh, put down a ladder so we can get up and replace those. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. At some point, we are going to have to wrangle this guy and put him back in, but we need the research for that. Oh, this is crazy this time. Look, we've uh, we've dug up this tile and the oxalite has been placed down there instead. And instead of water spilling out, more oxygen is being produced at such a rate that the water cannot flow over. Look, look, look it wanted to. It really wanted to, but no, not this time. Okay, so we got back to the point where the food research had been done, and we're going to go ahead and make use of that, but the next thing I need. The next thing I really need actually has a whole bunch of new stuff. Spaced out DLC content coming along with it. A telescope, a porter printer. Ah, the skill scrub has always been there. But mo mostly, I'm doing this for the advanced research capabilities, because I, I need I, I need these scrubbers. Look, I need this scrubber here, and that needs both types of research, and I need this scrubber here, or water sieve, and they that also needs both types of research. So to do that, we need to get both types of research. And that's the printer back online. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's save it. <laughs> Okay, with the save, click the button, do we get... Okay, we're good now, we're good now. So we are looking for someone that we can classify as a bishop. Now, I'm looking through here, we've got a researcher, we've got a digger. I guess we're going to be having May here with the suit wearing. Not so good for now, but definitely good in the future. Wait, is this... Is this what we want to do? The suit wearing is good, but I think it's more later game. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the snazzy suit to try and prove my guy's morale, and we're going to be looking for a tidy and supplier. That's what we're really looking for out here. I'm not just going to take on people willy-nilly. We're going to let this happen. Isn't willy-nilly a weird, weird phrase? Oh, we have power issues on today's research, but I'm wondering, do we even want to? Do we just want to wait for these guys to, uh, to, to have another sleep and power us up a little bit more? They're not glum anymore, so I'm hoping they're going to be providing us with a proper power. We could put a little generator down, as I was saying, and that would actually provide us with a fair amount of power. A snazzy suit. Let's give the uh, ran random randomers one, as you are a real person. Ripley loving it, even without the snazzy suit. Um, ran uh, random randomers got the snazzy suit and a high morale. Hicks, not doing so well. Most calories, though. Right, you remember me mentioning that we need some composters? I'm going to put a whole bunch of them down, like all of them down like this. That's going to be great. That's going to make us a whole a bunch of dirt, and dirt is used for a bunch of things, including farming and research. So those are very important to make sure that we get covered. And just a few planter boxes. You know, just a few. Ah, oh, look, our first polluted dirt getting processed here. Good work, Ripley. Good work. Someone's got to do the dirty jobs, and it turns out you are the girl. Okay, these bad boys just are not holding enough power, it turns out. We need to be able to get through the day, and whilst we are just about to tick over the research, ba ba da bum we're going to get ourselves, uh, let's see, down here somewhere, station supercomputer. We're now going to be running two times the research station. And we have doubled the batteries out, but I'm just, I'm still not sure that it's enough. But research, what will we be going for next? You heard me say it quite a few times. That's right, we're going for the deodorizer. We've got to clean up our oxygen here. During the time, we will get ourselves was like some some air pumps and some airflow tiles but really that deodorizer and carbon scrubber is what it's all about now end of day four we got pretty far in our plans here we got some power systems we got some uh, uh, a washroom we got ourselves a dirt maker and we're working on the farm beautiful 
Oh, whilst we're here, let's have a look how much. 300 watts. Beautiful, beautiful. That must mean these guys are filling up like you would not believe. Yeah, cool. It's weird that these guys are rated in watts, but these store jewels. Straight into a little bit of farming. We've put the bog buckets in there. You can see they've got a body temperature of 10 to 30. That should be fairly easy to maintain. An air pressure of standard, you know, 1 to a thousand, uh, one to 10,000. Oh, wow. Duplicates, I think, complain quite quite strongly when you get up to 5,000. Oxygen polluted, oxygen, carbon dioxide, all the things we can deal with. Darkness. As long as we don't put it next to the printing pod, we should be fine. Of course, the irrigation for the polluted water. That's why I got the picture bump for. One thing I'm going to do, I've noticed that there has been a lot of back and forth in trying to get the, uh, the dirt down to this research station here so we definitely need to uh, put a storage bin for that i think right please 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 where is it consumable or cultivatable soil that's the one cultivatable soil dirt uh, just just everyone bring stuff here all right let's let's go with a nine instead let's see if people will do stuff like that hicks has earned a skill point random random i returned the, uh, earned a skill point wow i didn't even see those come in all right cool let's start with hicks hard digging like w without even a thought let's get the hard digging and of course random random advanced research so you can start working on the supercomputer because that's where our real research lies okay with food research a uh, bit of dirt coming out and everyone feeling nice and happy aside from beds but we'll sort that out one day there is just one more thing for me to do one more thing that i need to show you before i can say that i have done a good first episode of the spaced out dlc we need to get down here and have a look at this stuff also there's some crude oil here it's really confusing why is there crude oil there? oh yeah ripley just earned her skill point and of course we're giving her improved farming working on that ranching so we can start moving these guys around these guys being plug slugs oh this could be a problem uh shall we just let it happen anyway i think we're, i think we're just gonna let it happen anyway oh here's sulfur this is where we get sulfur from it looked like rust to me ah but there we go we got sulfur Colony achievement of chief what did we get what did we achieve let me know outdoor rendezvous construct a building outside the initial starting biome that that will be this ladder <laughs> Okay, printing pot. Should have saved it. Oh, man, I did not save it. Ranching, operating, rocketry, decorating, operating, ranching, operating, cooking. None of these. Let's get the joy of seeds. Okay, then. We've got ourselves this wide open space to the left-hand side of these new buildings. Like, what's it? Look at it. We've got window glass everywhere. We've got a teleport transmitter and a teleport receiver. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go, oh, yeah, look, I've, des I've discovered a functioning teleportation device with a pre-programmed destination. It appears to go to another planetoid, and I'm fairly certain there's a return device on the other side. I'm glad they said that because, you know, is this one my trip? Is it not? How do we know from this side? I don't know. I can send a duplicate through if I, uh, through safely if I desire. Okay, well, look, we've got ourselves Turanu. Uh, and what's this called? called? Ya Yakil? Yakil, all right, beautiful. That's not quite what I want, but we're going to set the uh, the destination for here, the Oversea Planetoid. Look, look, it's, 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 it's the top of an asteroid. Look at all this. Look at all this, but beautiful. So this must be the top, the bit that we first seen, right? We see it, We saw it from the other side. Now, there's a button somewhere. Uh, star map. Z. Z is the one I wanted. But if we double-click that and go to the overseas, we can come back over here. Now, I want Hicks to go... No, no, let's send random randomers through. That will probably be a, a strong choice. Also, we have uh, finished our research. Have we actually finished? We have finished our research. Oh, my gosh. Let's then, uh, at the same time, put one of these oxygen deodorizers down right here. Look at, look at everything that we need to clean up here. Look at everything. Can we make these the highest priority before Hicks makes his way through? I sure do hope so. You may have noticed one, one thing that I needed to do that we don't normally need to do is hook the deodorizer up to power. Mmm, updates, eh? Okay, the deodorizer is in place. I don't know if anybody's going to come along and put the, uh, the the materials in there. The random random it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. And hopefully someone is going to come through and dig this lot out as well. Okay, the deodorizer doing its job. Let's press F4. As you can see, it's polluted oxygen. Wall to wall down here. But look, we're making more oxygen. We're making fresh oxygen. So now we can just safely ignore that. No oxygen generator bill. I I'm hoping we can anyway. One of these might not be enough. Let's have a look. How much does it produce? Emitting oxygen, 90 grams a second. I have no idea how much these guys use. Uh, I mean, the percentage doesn't really help me out here. 0 0.9 per second. Okay. All right, and through we bust. Random random is where you at? Okay, here we go. Click on that. We're, we're going to teleport. Watch this. Away they go. And we just arrived here. Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm definitely going to have to slow down the game again. And so, well, welcome to a new world. We are very close to the top here. We can actually set, uh, send materials back and forth. We can't see the building here, but there is another building out there that this one sends duplicates. These two send duplicates. Oh, look, a uh, cryo tank. That's nice. Can we put people in the cryo tank? We'll figure that out afterwards. Uh, we, so we can send duplicates through these teleporters, but there are indeed um like 
liquid, solid, and gas teleporters out there somewhere. So we're going to have to see if we can find it. Look at the water down here. Look, toilets, water. That is cool. Over this way, poke shells. Classic poke shells. Oh, that is so good. We've got some nosh beams down here. We've got to get ourselves some materials that we know about. Millwood, bri uh, briar birds, whatever we're calling them. Muck root. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we are going to take control of a bow for planets here. We're going to bring, probably going to bring everybody back to this one. Try and get a bit more sustainable here before we send everybody through. Oh, of course, this is recharging. Takes time to recharge before we send everybody through and uh, try and colonize both worlds. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. We can see the roof. Bye.